Ahab married. Now, Ahab was the king of Israel. He married Jezebel in a, in a political alliance so that they would be at peace, as those two nations would be at peace. So Jezebel ended up uh, uh, corrupting his heart to serve the same idol gods that she was serving. Are you hearing what I'm saying? God said he hated Ahab because God hates men who do not walk in their authority. Say amen. And if you don't know what we're building today, our men have this Ahab spirit. This weak, not standing up, don't want to be on the front line, won't go to work, take care of the family. Y'all don't want to talk no more. Hiding behind the woman. Say amen. Looking for mamas instead of wives. That's that Ahab spirit, that weakness in men. That propensity to, 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 ex, to, to exit their throne or their seat of authority. And that's why the Bible says the head of the man is Christ. The head of the woman is the man. The, the man and the woman are head of the family. Say amen. So what, so what we have now is there's no heads in, over the family, over the woman. Say amen. The man vacates that and says, now honey, you go and do, you be the head. You pay, bring home the bacon, and you fry it up in the pan, and I'll just be a player. Y'all hearing what I'm saying? And y'all going for that. Oh, boy. Y'all going for that. Y'all paying me in now. When I was out there, we had to pay. Now y'all pay men. Y'all accept men with other women. Y'all didn't used to do that. Say, man, what happened? You've been conditioned. You've been conditioned to accept this modern Jezebel Ahab combination that uproots the home and makes, and makes uh, lesbian daughters and homosexual boys. Because when the order in the home's out of whack, the kids don't know who to look to. So the boy's looking, the mama getting feminine, and the daughter's scared of men, so she's going to be masculine. So y'all don't want to talk about this. So now we got this lesbian homosexual dynamic that we didn't have. Oh, and it don't come from somebody just touching on people. It comes from the home being out of order. The boy needs to see daddy loving his mom. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. Standing up in authority, raising his family, paying his bills. When somebody knock on the door, daddy say, oh, 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 oh I got this. It's a shame the teachers don't need to see the mama. What are you doing now? The daddy need to say, it's my son. What's up? What's happening? It creates a sense of identity in the son. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? So we're suffering from the roles in our home being so eroded. And a lot of them have come, say, man, some of them were purposely placed upon us in our society because I told you all before, unbeknown to many, the program for welfare was designed, it was a design to split our homes. It was designed, listen, to empower the woman over the man. That's what it was designed to do. Are y'all there? They don't get upset with the truth. That was the design. If they wanted you to have, if they wanted us to have strong families, why didn't they give us some money? Help me to stay with my with my woman. Give me and send. I don't need no welfare. Send me to college. Give me some money. Don't give me that. Help my man stay. Oh, he's depressed. I don't want him going out there selling drugs. He going to jail. Help him. Hallelujah. It wasn't designed for us to have strong homes. It was designed to reverse the order of God. Knowing that when the order of God in the home is reversed, you're going to produce Ahab boys, Jezebel daughters. And the family is going to be destroyed. And we're suffering now. Our women are suffering from this. Say amen. So much to the point that now we say, there ain't uh, 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 these men are, are intimidated by a strong woman. Come on. 
No, you're calling Jezebel a strong woman. When Jezebel is a, is a manipulative woman. She breaks, she destroys men's esteem and breaks them down. Do it automatically because I don't know how to love or be loved. I only know control and to be on top. And because I've done been hurt by these jokers before, I'm not going to let. So I'm going to break this man down and make him submissive to me. That's what y'all magazines are about. That's what y'all talk shows are about. Figuring out how to break a man down. Let me go on the talk show. It'll be the last one they will call me on because I know the answer. So they do all that to sell books and magazines and have you come running and looking at their TV shows. But they know the answer. The answer God always had was the home got to be in order. They know what that is. That doesn't sell well. Say amen. All right. So, these a the, uh, so Jezebel married Ahab. Ahab... Uh, was wicked. They were serving Baal. He turned the whole country of Israel into serving idols and and really to Bible says commit fornication and sexual sin. So when Jezebel's dominating, you see this sexual sin. What was once, remember, what was once tolerated has become normal. Talk to me. Now remember, we were getting married. We were getting married. Now this generation says fornication is normal. Even in the church. I was reading somebody's Facebook page. And they were saying, Lord, I just thank I went to church and I thank the Lord for my boyfriend. And you know, God just sent them in my life. Because y'all know, this is, because, you know, Jezebel was prophetic. You know, she was deep, super deep, took the word out of context. Speaking into people's life, God said to me, I got dreams and visions. That's the spirit on us now. This is all these dreams and visions. All y'all want to talk no more. And I said, well, well, the Bible says God does not do evil. Neither does he tempt men with evil. So how can God give you a, give you, how can God bring somebody in your life to fornicate with when God don't do evil. God didn't send them. You got them. But people spiritualize it. Come on, y'all. You know church is trendy. Oh, being spiritual is trendy. They spiritualize and say, oh, I just thank God for sending them in my life. As if by them saying God did it, I ain't going to say nothing. I said, the Lord that God does not put evil in front of you. He don't tip you with evil. You did it. That's one occasion. If you keep one occasion, you're going to hell. You know what? They unfriend me. Just go on and delete me. I can't stand it. This water down. I'm even some more with some of that. Uh, this water down weak $2 Christianity. No conviction. No standing for Christ. No change in your life. No Holy Spirit, no holiness, no loving God with all your might. Oh, I just get so tired of it. And people are sitting in church, and these preachers ain't saying nothing. Because they like your tithes and your offering. And you, are, and you women ought to want to build these conferences and build these churches, believe it or not. The men are in the street. They don't read. They ain't reading these books. These books are written for women because women read. You know why women want to know? Come on, y'all want to know. You know what women want to know? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? I love Tim. Oh, I love Tim. I gave him my life. I gave him my everything. I put up with all of his, come on. Oh, don't that sound like a song? Was your lover and your secretary? <laughs> Just running down that sad love song stuff. <laughs> and they going and getting knowledge. And the bad thing, they're going to churches where they're not being taught. Because 
the Bible says, if you got bad things in your life, consider your ways. That means consider what you're doing. It's something you're doing. That is called, listen, now you know you cannot get what you have not sown. So if you reaping dogs, then you're sowing dogs. Oh, hallelujah. Let's go on. Okay. Let me get in this, y'all. I ain't even touched the surface here yet. Y'all there? Come on, can I teach you something? See, we need our black men back. We need them back. Me and my wife are talking about that. You know, we're not racist. I don't have nothing. I don't believe in none of that stuff. You can't be racist and be saved anyway. But I said, why is it when we start, uh, why is it when we uh, go to our, a white woman and we say, honey, uh, why don't you, uh, uh, we need the black men in our community. Y'all got men. It's our, we don't want statistics on the news and the, and the high rate of abortion, the high rate of, of look at this abuse. You know, y'all see what's happening? This men are just killing, the women just let men live in the house. Just come on moving in. Men are just going crazy. You know, no, 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 these brothers are on psychotic pills. The last thing you better do is give a Negro a key. Meet me at Panera Bread. I don't want you to know where I live at. Because he might be, he, he is Dr. Jekyll. <laughs> you ain't coming in here, partner. No, sir. But look how trusting we are. This, oh, I just met you at the club. Last, oh, come on. Oh, ooh, you hit the spot. Oh, he hit the spot. These Negroes are so crafty. They know now I ain't got to work. I got to perfect my stroke. Because the women are working, they the career women, they bringing home the bacon, but ain't no men up there. Ain't no brothers up there. So these, these Negroes are figuring something, oh, they done tricking y'all. They know they are valuable commodity. Because there ain't a lot of, you know, the less it is or something, the more valuable it is. So instead of men looking to purchase, take care of, lay his life down for, they're sampling. Oh, you got to get my tape on the goodies. I ain't going to go into that. These brothers are sampling. You know how you go in Walmart, I mean Sam's, they ain't buying nothing. You ever seen people in Sam, you know they ain't buying nothing, they just keep walking around the same trying to get more of the sample. Free. That's what these brothers are doing. Just breaking a piece of your bread and breaking a piece of her cake. Sampling. Say amen. He just got a sweet tooth, honey. He don't, he don't mean to, he ain't really trying to buy a cake. He's just tasting frosting. That's all he want anyway. Say amen. Won't no Negro come around sampling. That's them 3 a.m. Negroes. Oh, y'all want to talk. Come over to sampling. No. Be with me in the morning. Sport me to church. <laughs> me creeping with me. Sport me. Take me to church. Go get the drop top and ride me down the street so everybody can see us. Don't be hiding me over here. I ain't going to be your whole cake. They sampling. Oh, hallelujah. Let me get past the Steve. Move on. Okay, y'all there. <laughs> Y'all there? Now listen, we ready to roll. Y'all ready to go? Now, let me get back. Now, now remember, remember, uh, Jezebel was the mother, I mean, was the wife of Ahab. I told y'all that. And God hated Ahab. He judged Ahab because Ahab was soft. Y'all there? Ahab was a mama boy. So Ahab, Ahab was the king, but he wanted Naboth's, another man's vineyard. And God, now, Ahab went to Naboth, man to man, say man to man. You need to understand his dynamic because you need to see how Ahab men operate so you'll know what you got. 
so you will know what to apply to get him to get his backbone straight. 